Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about creating AI art using Midjourney. Have you ever wanted to create your own unique digital artwork, but don't have the skills or time to learn traditional art techniques? Well, Midjourney is here to help. Midjourney is an independent AI art generator that takes text-based prompts and turns them into stunning images using artificial intelligence and machine learning. And the best part is, it's open for anyone to use for free. All you need is a Discord account to join the Midjourney beta server and start creating. But before we dive into how to create AI art with Midjourney, let's first talk about what it is and how it works. Midjourney is a tool that allows users to generate original, AI-powered artwork simply by entering a few words or phrases as a prompt. The tool then uses those prompts to create four unique images that users can choose from. And if you're not satisfied with the initial options, you can use the Upscaling and Variations buttons to further refine and customize your chosen image. But it's not just about the end result. The process of creating with Midjourney is also really fun. As the bot works on generating your images, you'll see the artwork slowly come to life before your eyes, starting as blobs of color and eventually becoming more and more detailed. Now that you know a little bit about Midjourney and how it works, let's talk about how to get started creating your own AI art. The first step is to join the Midjourney server on Discord. If you don't already have a Discord account, you can easily create one for free on their website. Once your account is set up, simply head to the Midjourney website and click on the Join the Beta button. From there, you'll be prompted to accept an invite to the server. Once you're in the Midjourney server, it's important to take a few minutes to read the rules and guidelines. Midjourney offers up to 25 free queries when you join, but after that you'll have the option to subscribe for more. It's also important to follow the community guidelines and terms of service to avoid getting banned. Now that you're all set up and ready to go, it's time to create your first piece of AI art. To do this, you'll need to join a bot channel for new users. In the Midjourney server, select a newbies channel from the sidebar and type slash into the message bar. From there, you'll be presented with a list of commands, one of which is slash imagine. Select this command and a prompt field will appear. This is where you will enter the words or phrases that you want to use as your prompt. It can be anything from a single word to a more complex phrase, depending on the type of image you want to create. Once you've entered your prompt, hit enter to submit your request. The bot will then get to work generating four unique images based on your prompt. As mentioned earlier, at first, you'll only see blobs of color as the images are being processed, but they'll slowly become clearer as the bot works. Once the four images are ready, you'll have the option to upscale the image of your choice or generate further variations of one of the options using the buttons underneath. To upscale an image, simply find the first row of buttons under the image grid and click on U1, U2, U3, or U4 depending on which image you want to enhance. The bot will then add further detail to your chosen image, giving you a more refined and polished final result. Alternatively, if you want to see more variations of one of the images in the grid, you can use the Variations buttons. Find the second row of buttons under the grid and press V1, V2, V3, or V4 depending on which image you want the bot to use as a starting point. The bot will then generate four new images for you to choose from. It's important to note that both the initial slash imagine prompt and any upscaling or variations will use up some of your 25 free chances when you first join Midjourney. So if you want to continue using the generator after you've used up all your free chances, you'll have the option to subscribe for more. Once you're happy with your final image, it's time to save it. To do this, click on the image to open the preview and then press Open Original underneath to access the full-size image. 
From there, simply right-click the image and select Save Image as to save it to your computer. You can also send the image to yourself by clicking on the Send button underneath the image. This will allow you to send the image as a file or embed it in a message on Discord. And that's it. You have just created your own unique AI-powered art using Midjourney. Whether you're an artist looking for a new tool to experiment with, or just someone who wants to try their hand at creating digital artwork without any traditional art skills, Midjourney is a great resource to check out. So why not give it a try and see what kind of amazing artwork you can create? Just head to the Midjourney website and join the Beta server to get started. And be sure to check out the gallery of other users' images for inspiration and to see the amazing creations that are possible with Midjourney. So that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications for more such videos. I will see you soon.